everyone. So today we're going to be doing some fast shark art. My original shark character that's based off of my A letter. Um, that's also my logo. So don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. i got tons of videos coming. So today I'm doing my fast shark. I have several different versions of this shark, but this is based off of my A logo. You can see there's a lowercase a hidden in my work. You just have to be able to understand it. I don't know if some of you guys that are watching my channel are familiar with graffiti and graffiti art. How some of the lettering looks so crazy. And it's like, man, well, how do you even know what it says? That's like, it's like trying to understand another language. You know, if you're American and you go overseas and trying to read uh, another language is difficult because it's like a symbol. So when you see graffiti and you see wild style graffiti or story graffiti, like you have to have an understanding of what that is to really read it. So people that I guess gravitate towards that more um, bubble lettering style, they can understand that there is a letter within my character. There goes one of these Kirobot toys that I did for a video, so go check that out. Like right now I'm gonna post a picture of one of my shark characters, my other versions based off of my F. You can pause this video and you can see how I have a letter F and I evolved into a, a standard shark and then I style it out even more. And then here I show you how I created the F and bubble lettering F. You know, I have a free ebook. I'll talk more about that in this video. But I, you know, this is that's that's how I develop myself throughout the year. That's like that's the evolution in my work. But I always wanted to have this unique look where it's my work that no one else can emulate it, but it, it, it has an understanding within it, right? So a lot of people that are into like the whole graffiti, you know, bubble at everything, they're like, okay, I see the F and I, I see the S, right? So that is a trademark of me, right? That's my way of creating, right? That's my character design. And character design for me, if you want to keep it really simple, is being able to merge different ideas and create something. Like I created a, an Among Us video um of venom and no one's really done the among us venom the way i've done it and that's because i'm able to understand different ideas like the character venom and among them among us and merge them into one you know and the only way you're gonna get to this point guys is by trying all kinds of different kind of styles of art like here i have the canvas where i have tons of my a logo and different variations you know i got a bird a frog um Here's another one where I put on a fine art painting and I put my logo in the middle as a necklace. And just because even though I don't have my characters in this painting, it's a female face, you can still see my logo so you know it's my work. Right. And I also do my own kind of hairstyle and that stands out as well. But I was always willing to step outside of the box and just merge ideas. So like if you want to be a, you want to be really good at character design and all you draw is like fluffy teddy bears, you're not you're not going to get far, right? Like you're going to have to draw fluffy teddy bears, um birds, um you know, Mickey Mouse, SpongeBob, all this stuff. Even though I know some people are going to say, "Oh, I don't want to do that." Like let's say you're into landscape and you do like like paintings and stuff or you do portraits, you know, and if that's all you're doing, your work is going to be bland. It's not going to stand out. If you look at some of the, the artists nowadays, like they do a lot of surreal realism in their artwork. They'll put bubble lettering, characters like Crayola. Um, he's a really good artist. He, he mixes all these different kind of styles of work. And then in, he mixes realism as well that it makes his work stand out. It just looks amazing, right? And that only comes from being willing to draw everything, right? You're not just going to, um, you know be great at character design and then not understand other you know forms of art and different techniques like in this video i'm just drawing my shark but you know this is this is how i even do my paintings i might not use a marker i might use a paintbrush but you know i take my time and even though this is a sketch you know this is the discipline that i put put in all my work regardless of what i'm doing it could be a sketch a painting i put the same attention to detail into everything right and um that's something that came from me experimenting with comic book work, right? If it wasn't for comic book work, like when I was doing portrait paintings, I kind of was familiar with like drawing X-Men, Spider-Man, Venom, you know, Marvel comics. Like, you know, I, I was into Spawn and Witchblade. But if it wasn't for me drawing that kind of stuff and I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. You know, I'm just going to do, you know, um, SpongeBob and Mickey Mouse art, you know, then I never would have developed this kind of line work, you know? So it's because I developed myself doing that kind of line work that I was able to then incorporate it into the, the characters that I have now because I had an understanding. 
right? So if you wanna if you wanna become, you know, and develop a concept, you know, when it comes to character design and like be at the top of like the ultimate class of illustration and like you know like people are gonna go to you and say, hey man, I wanna work with him because everything that he does is creative you know if i ask him to pull something off you know to take this this and that and merge it into one and he comes up with something amazing that's only gonna come from you willing to try everything you know and then merge them all together with your style right and your style is gonna come from being able to mix all those ideas together and that's what i do right um right now on my short feed i'm doing a lot of it's like um optical illusion, you know, lettering. And, you know, that's something I did when I was a kid, you know, but um, I'm getting requests for that. So I'm doing that. So now I'm getting people saying, hey, can you mix that into your paintings? And it'll be so cool if you do it with your portrait faces. You know, and I'm willing to do that because that's what my customer wants. A lot of people that are viewing my videos, you know, send me messages that they want to do commission work. They want me to do t-shirt design for them. So by you being able to do, you know, character design, you know, you're going to have unlimited work as well, you know, and um, that's one of the, the pluses here. Like I have some stickers I designed with my original characters that you can see that's my F character and I have, you know, I made a giraffe and it has that same kind of flow to it. And um, even my shark has that same kind of flow. Here I have a mat that I, that I created, you know, when I'm painting so I don't damage my desk and um have all my characters all over, all over that yeah and um all all the understanding that i have within character design came from me willing to experiment you know me wanting to say hey i want to try everything you know i remember there was a point that i didn't want to even want to get into fine art like doing portraits and stuff i'm like what's the point of that like i want to do like you know these i was into graffiti you know like these characters i'm like what's even the point but then I took a year off of doing all this stuff. And I'm not even going to waste my time with this. You know, I just, you know, I wasn't into that. I was really into like um, doing photography and then, you know, sketching and doing pencil work. I did that for like a year. And not, I'm not going to say like, I, I might have said like, oh, I didn't want to do this. But I just really just went with the flow. Like it, I, I really got bored of doing this artwork and I felt like my art was was stuck ah, you know these characters can't go anywhere else so i took a year off and just got into portrait painting doing that and i got so good at portrait painting that when i came back to my characters man i blew my mind how i was able to come up with so many ideas and evolve them and incorporate them in the paintings and then when i took off time off of the portrait painting the same thing happened you know i took time off doing portraits and then um i developed my characters and when i went back to portrait paintings man i started doing this crazy hairstyle my my female characters started looking better and it came from me willing to want to experiment right and that's my advice like if you want to become the best and you know and, and a top earner when it comes to character design you have to be willing to do everything and I'm not going to say this is my advice, but I, I, I don't really care what anybody else thinks. Like people that come to me to work and my fans, they know what I'm capable of. But I feel like a lot of people, they're like, oh, I don't want to do, you know, this kind of work because it takes away from my style. And then, you know, people don't really like it. And at the end of the day, your fans, they want to see everything that you're doing. Like people that are really interested in your work, they love your work for, for what it is. Right. And you're not supposed to be out there. I guess generically doing what everybody else is doing, but have your style within doing things differently. And then people are going to respect that. And that's, that's the reason why a lot of people, um, a lot of artists don't succeed in their art careers is because like they doubt themselves or they, they feel like, um, people are not going to like their new work because they're so used to their old work and they're attached to it. And it's not even that like you willing to want to create other kinds of work and do things differently. It's going to make your artwork feel always fresh and new. Right. And that's an investment within yourself that your fans that are always going to be around, always going to have something new to look forward to, not just the same thing year after year after year, because it gets boring. And yes, you're going to have so many new people looking at your work that to your work, to them, it will be new. But I mean, you as an artist are going to get bored, right? You're not, oh, I'm tired of doing the same thing. And that's why you have writer's block is because you're not willing to step out of the box and do things differently. Whereas that if you're doing fine art and you say, hey, you know, let me take some time off and let me just do, you know, character art for, for like, you know, a year, you know, and then come back to the, you know, your fine art later on. You can incorporate all that into your painting and your style because you have an understanding of that. 
you'll do amazing stuff, right? It's like the pictures I just posted right now of Ron Inglers. He has that understanding where he takes all these different ideas and he's able to create these amazing work of art. And, you know, that comes from years and years of understanding and practicing. It doesn't happen overnight, guys. So you got to start now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Start right now. Realistic, surreal realism. Look, it's just amazing, right? But I'm pretty sure he wasn't just doing fine art all day. He was he he experiments. He doesn't probably show all his sketching and everything that he does behind the scenes. But it comes from that, right? It comes from doing everything and emerging the ideas together, right? And that's what I do in my art, right? And that's the reason why I created um uh, my ebook. I have the free ebook, so if you guys are interested in this, check it out. I have, you know, a short explanation of how, and how I do this, you know, immersion of ideas. And then I, if you're interested and you want to support me as an artist, I have the full version. Um, it's 70 pages and it's full of pictures and information and I'm building this understanding. And I'm just trying to give back because this is what I learned throughout the years and it helped benefit me. So thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> thanks for watching my channel, Fast Factory. My artist's name is Faz, and this is my factory. I'm putting out that work. I do paintings, digital work, everything. And I'm going to be putting all my information on what I do on this channel and how I do things so you guys can learn the game as well. So check out my free book. Free book is free. Links in the description. Um, I show you how I did like my F and turn it into a dinosaur.